Hello, welcome to American Baker in Germany. So today I thought I'd try something really different. So we're going to try a little bit of a different kind of a series. And this one is called Real or AI. <laughs> now I, I decided on this one because I realized that there are a lot, and I mean a lot, <laughs> of AI generated cakes out there. And it's so weird. Like who would want that anyway? But it's giving people very unrealistic expectation of what is actually possible and what isn't. And so I thought that I would make kind of my own rebuttal, so to speak, where I'm trying to fight against this, like, idea of, you know, AI images are real. Forgive the glasses. I am looking near, nearby and I need them. I have reading glasses. So. Uh, so, yeah, let's just jump right into it. I am also screen recording this so I can put it up on the screen whichever side. I also want to keep a count of how many of these are real and how many are AI. And I'm telling you, most of the ones that I have chosen are AI. I can tell you that just by glancing at them. So um, I wanted to get an idea of how many there are. Let's start with the first one. Uh, now, first impression is, uh, of course, this is real. I mean, there's a person standing right next to it. Um, but I want to show the level of detail that is possible because this man is standing next to it, but it's clear that he wasn't the only one who worked on this cake. So the top part is cake. I would say there's two layers there. The figures are probably modeling chocolate, I'm guessing. Um, the snow is probably powdered sugar. And the water is probably isomalt. The fish look amazing, especially with how large they are. I mean, look how big they are compared to the man. Um, and then the characters, there's Mrs. Potts. Um, and you have the two dancers there. You have the candelabra, that's uh, Lumiere. And you have another uh, couple over there. I don't know what those up with the couples, actually. I don't feel like they look that much like the characters. Hmm, whatever. The ones on top, of course, do. So, um, not quite sure what's going on there. It's also from the live action version. This is really beautiful. Now, what all is cake? I mean, the top two layers, I'm pretty sure, are cake. The pillars, probably not. Um, the bottom base? Maybe, but it looks awfully rigid to me. I'm guessing that that's a stand of some kind. I don't think that there's, that's cake on the bottom, although it could be, I guess, if it was well enough supported. Anyways, that one is real. So tick one for the real. All right. Next cake. This one, first glance, I would say it's probably fake. Let's take a closer look to see if we think it is, could possibly be real or is not. All right, the things that are bothering me about this is the texture. Um, it, to be honest, you can make things look like it has strands like this, but it's really difficult to do and without a fondant mold, it's basically impossible. And what's more is that, why would you bother? You know, it's one of those things where you would say like, is that is those individual strands really that necessary? I'm about a hundred percent sure that this is fake. Um, now also this rose in the middle, like, honestly, I'm going to have to ask, is that yarn or is that a rose? Is a yarn rose? Like, you know, why would you do that? Also like this texture, it looks too much like yarn. I mean, I would believe that this is made out of fabric more like before I would believe it was made out of fondant. So, I'm going to have to go with AI on this one, AI. All right, my first impression is that this is probably AI. It could be real, I guess. Let's look a little closer. All right, the fact that the center of the flower is the same color as the flower, I think that's something you don't usually do. What in the world is that? What is that? Like, it, it doesn't have any form or function. It doesn't isn't anything I recognize. I would say... Like, why is that there? Is that supposed to be like a ball with a, like a tail? Like it's blurry though. So as if it were in motion and that's not the case with cake. Also this green leaf standing straight up, that is really difficult to do. 
to get it to stand straight up and also look that good. The butterfly is okay. It's two different colors though. I mean, why would you do that? And what is this design on the, what is that? You know, like when you have to ask yourself what something is, it's probably AI. What is that? What is that? Um, uh, this flower, what's it attached to? Why is it on a leaf? And oh, oh gosh, this, <laughs> this butterfly. Yeah. This butterfly is fake. Like, why would you make a two-tone butterfly like that? That blends into the leaves. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that if you were making this into a cake. This is AI. So AI counter. All right. Next cake. All right. My first impression, this one is probably real. Okay. I'm going to look into it. And the reason, oh, it's really blurry. Why is it so blurry? Uh, that's a low quality picture is what it is. It, I'm not saying that the person who uploaded it did low quality pictures. I'm saying that this is a low quality image. It may have been stolen from someone else. It could have been screenshotted. It's hard to say. But um, the texture looks like buttercream to me. That's actually relatively easy to do with like swipes back and forth. The gold in the center could have been painted on. The flowers could be fondant flowers placed in between. I think this is real. The texture of the lavender also looks okay to me if you like balled it up and then squished it together. I think it would be possible to do. It would be a bit time consuming, but it would be possible. I think this is real. So I'm going for real. Also, I'm not saying I'm always right on these. <laughs> if ever I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments because obviously I don't know everything, but all right, um, this one, my first impression is this is real. And part of the reason, and it really helps, is this watermark. Artwork idea by Zulfia Ermakov. Ermakova, sorry. And then it has a handle right there. Um, now I'm going to say this might not be real cake underneath. It could be a cake dummy. And I'm, I'm a little weirded out by the fact this is artwork idea and not art execution. However, it does look real to me. Um, the design on the side of the cake would be painted on. That would be someone who is very skilled at painting on fondant with food coloring. Uh, but there are people that skilled. There are people that are that artistic. I am not <laughs> one of them, but I, people can do that. Also, the flowers are very consistent. The uh, design makes sense everywhere. Nothing's floating. I think this is real. Also, the white could be real flowers. It could also be very skillfully done fondant flowers. Um, and uh, like the ochre kind of a color. Um, yeah, so I think this is real. So, check one up. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> this one. Stained glass design. My first impression, I think this is real. All right. It's pretty simple. This little thing in the middle is usually like a cake. Um, I was going to say cake dummy, but it's not that big. It's um, it's like a little styrofoam piece that you put in between layers. It's uh, really not a big deal. Also, this technique you would use is to lay like fondant in between and then um, paint or airbrush in between the um, black lines. Although you might put the black lines on last, but that floating... Um, flower on the top tier and the center tier. The only thing that makes me think it might be AI is that it does look like it's floating and how is it connected to the back one. But I think that it's closer to you and you're seeing over the top to the second flower behind it. I think that that's how it is. And it, that is possible using gum paste and letting allowing it to dry um, at least overnight. I'd say two, three days would be better. And then it would stand up like that against the cake. It would. Like, that is a possibility. Um, so I think this one's real. Next one. Okay, this isn't a cake. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. Um, it's great. Like, sushi, sushi shoe. Clearly fake. Um, I don't think I have to prove it to you. But um, just in case you needed to know, like, I mean, what is that? <laughs> coming out of the shoe. It doesn't make any sense, but even like this is made out of salmon. It's, it's clearly not real. So here there are four cakes. I um, chose this image because I wanted to share like what makes sense and what doesn't. Um, 
so I'm pretty sure these are AI. Either that, or they're very good paintings. Um, because the, the texture of the paint on the side is something you can really only achieve with oil paints. Um, you can't do that with food coloring. I've tried, I've done it with, tried to do it with, with buttercream and it's really hard. Another thing that struck me immediately was the background. So here you have these like flowers in the foreground, which could be fondant over top of this very oil painting looking thing with this texture on the top. Ah, it just doesn't look real. And then, and then like the edging was gold. And then on the bottom, there's the same stinking flower that's on the top of the cake. Like, unless that's a, cake, a flower that's been like laid on top, it doesn't make sense to me that it would also be in the background. And this one like has a reflection on the bottom. What the flip is that? Is it on a mirror? Is it like, like it doesn't make sense for that to be the case. And if it were on a mirror, it wouldn't have that exact reflection because the, the thickness of the baseboard would also be reflected. There's something wrong here. You see what I mean? And here the base looks like a painting as the same painting that's on the side of the cake. It doesn't make sense. Like these are AI, I'm fairly certain AI. So I'm not even gonna go into more detail. Like I could, but I'm not going to. This one, I have no idea what's up with bee cakes. Like I don't understand the, the like draw to it. Um, honey, I understand. Bees? <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is obviously AI. And let me just point something quickly out. And I think you will all agree with me. What is that? Is that supposed to be cake? Because it looks like honeycomb. And honeycomb doesn't even look like that. It's like a honeycomb slash cake hybrid, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And what are these like white dots on the side? Like, what is that? I don't know. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to be. This is obviously AI. Plus it looks like it's standing out of the cake as opposed to being cut into it. So this is clearly not a cake. Um, but you could also see that with like the evenness of the drips. It's very, very regular. Also, I feel like it's, this bee is sitting on its stinger. Like you can't get that realistic of a bee out of anything edible that wants to have been like a figurine or something that you would put in. But how is it sitting on its stinger? Like it doesn't make any sense. And what is that on the top? Like inlaid into it? I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. And also this, the, um, the honeycomb that's like standing up on the top, that's basically impossible. Like you can't do that. I guess it, unless it's made out of plastic or something, but like, and, and then this bee looks very fake as well, but you know, I, it, I don't know. It's just, it's just very, very unrealistic to me. So AI, the fairy cake. Oh, fairies are very, very popular for AI images. So I'm guessing my first, Im oh, this is clearly AI. Floating butterflies. Yeah. Floating butterflies is an obvious giveaway that it's AI. What's more is what's that? What is that? Like, if you're doing a fairy image with butterflies, why would you put cake on top of your cake? Like, why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, like, I don't know. The drips aren't realistic either. Like, how anybody ever have your drip look like that? Because mine never has. Um, also, this looks metallic. Like, you might as well have just... Oh, wait a second. What the heck? What's up with the body? It's like a double body. See that? Um... Things like that will always give you way. This one's AI. Yeah. All right. This one's a little harder. Hmm. All right. I, my first impression is it could be real, but I'm going to go with AI. And the reason is because of the centers of the flowers. Here you have the yellow and here you have it's yellowish and here it's purple. See, see that sometimes it's purple and sometimes it's yellow. Here's a purple flower with purple center. Here's a white flower with a yellow center. Purple, 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 purple with a little bit of a yellow. White with purple. Like no baker would do this. Yeah, you would not be that inconsistent. You would make it more consistent if you were going to take the time to put something this intricate on top of it. Also the sides, I don't, think you can get fondant to stand up like that, that straight. 
and that like perfect hollow top it looks it's as if it were around a straw or something but why would you do that especially that much of it like no this is ai oh this is clearly ai i barely have to glance at it and how do i know that look at those flowers and tell me that that's not too realistic also why are the ducks flying in the water just just asking um and they're flying here they're not being supported this is obviously AI. Too unrealistic. This is not a realistic expectation. You cannot make a cake like this. AI. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. First glance, AI. Um, I don't see too many floating things except for the petals on the side. Um, so that's not why it gave itself away. Um, I would say that the the flowers have a dreamy quality that you can really only get if you're painting like with watercolors or acrylics um this isn't realistic at all it's too dreamy it's too surreal looking you know computer generated image it's what it is you know it is what it is this one oh what do i think of this one that's much harder okay let's take a closer look Bird's really cute. I wish I could do birds like that. I don't know. I feel like it has too much detail. I mean, ooh. this is a hard one. This is a hard one. I would say because of the level of detail of those tiny flowers, you know, your fingers are only so large. It's very difficult to make something very, very tiny. I'm going to go with AI. Now, I think it is possible to do something like this also. I feel like the bird's supposed to be 3D because there's a shadow underneath it. And yet it sits on the cake more like a 2D image. I don't know. I don't know. It looks really strange. I'm, I'm going to go with AI. Yeah, AI. Oh, yeah. This is obviously AI. You see that flying butterfly? It's not attached to anything. Um, yeah. Is it possible to do stuff like this? Yes. However, not to this extent. Also, what is this texture? What are these supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like a starfish? But why is it next to a rose? You know what I mean? If it's a starfish, why is it next to a rose? Like the design doesn't make sense either. We have pine cones, but that's not a pine cone. What is that? And then roses and then what is that? What is that? Like when, when you look at something and you have to say, what is that? Then, it, you know, it's probably nothing. It's probably a computer generated image. I mean, it looks cool, but it's not realistic. If you were to make a cake like this, I would never make it with starfish on it. Yeah? As cool as that looks. So I, I would go with more of a twisty, like, forest vibe. And even though it has, like, a copyright on it, I'm going to say that is because that's the person who made the image, not the person who made the cake. Yeah? So, all right, next one. So AI, I'll put it up there. Oh, this one's hard. I don't act, I, I have been thinking about this one and I, I'm not 100% sure, all right? Um, the eyes are a, quite realistic, but I have seen stuff like that before. I don't know about that leaf though. And I don't know, you could have like a, a leaf mold. If you had a leaf mold, maybe you could make that. These could have been made with candies. Ah, it's hard to say. If you had a leaf mold, we're very good at models with big googly eyes. Use a lot of like, the little balls are like, um, like sprinkles. Um, the way the top sits away from the cake is a bit unusual, but I guess that would be possible if you propped it up a bit underneath. Hmm. 
Uh, that edging makes it look unrealistic. See, jury's out on this one. I'm sorry, I don't know. I, I cannot tell if this is real or AI. I would say because of the way this stands out from the cake and the edging is too perfect, plus the strawberry standing on its tip, that's really hard to do too because fondant would just squish up. I would say I think it's AI, but I actually do not feel confident in this one. So if this is somebody who actually made it, kudos to you, but I'm going AI. Okay, this is obvious, yeah, this is AI. Like, first of all, getting a round cake that's smooth and perfect is really difficult. The the sand looking stuff could, could be brown sugar, that's not even an issue, but like, getting that edging and then having it hollowed out in the middle so you could put like what jello in it or something and then and then what the flip is up with the leaves on the palm tree there's no way that's real so ai oh another bee cake this one is obviously ai for so many reasons like it just jumps right out of me so i'll just point out a few yeah first of all these flowers is that piped or is that fondant because you can only get that thin, like, delicate look with fondant. And yet it looks as if it were piped. But if it were piped, where's the end of your swirl? Like, you would see the end where it, you, like, pull away. Um, another thing is that these bees, what's up with the bees? Like, this one has a black head and has two wings on the sides and has, like, I don't know, how what is that, five legs? And what is up with that? What is that? What is that? Like I said, if you ever have to ask, what is that? Is it have three an antennas or like one antenna with the black end and one antenna with the white end and one white antenna with the black end? Is that what it is? Because that's what it looks like. And it's super fat. And then compare it to this one, which has no head, has white antenna, and it has four wings instead of two. And it has like a center segmented body. And then this one is like, I don't know, squished up or something, has like, has a black and yellow head. It has black antenna with white ends and it has two wings and it has a couple legs on the side. And also what's the texture on the top? What is that? What is that texture? Like I could go on, but like, I think that's enough. Don't you think? Um, another dead giveaway for stuff like this is look at the cake itself. <sighs> have you ever, ever gotten cake to look like that? Cause I haven't. Um, getting, making your cake black is actually kind of hard. You'd have to, you have to use like black cocoa to get it that dark. Um, also it, your yellow cake is going to have some sort of browning on the edges and it's not going to be perfectly flat like that. No matter how much you want it to, it's not going to be perfectly flat like that anyways. Um, moving on, but like, this is clearly AI. This one, oh, that's, that's a hard one. All right, let's see. Paige the cake lover, that doesn't mean anything. The texture in the blanket is really detailed. What is that insignia? Shouldn't it say something? How would you get that? I mean, unless you had like a fondant press mold that looked exactly like this, how would you get that? I'm, I'm thinking, so my gut instinct says AI. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, these are clearly fondant flowers, yes? Except for this one, which looks piped. And okay, now, okay, they've convinced me. It is, that's AI. So that was a good one. That was a really good one. Um, very, very good. It also like, what's up with the eyelashes? That would be really difficult to get. Okay, AI. This, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This cake is not level. What is that? What is that? What is that? Your cake is not level. It's AI. I don't even have to look closer. That is not real cake. I know that I'm going to get comments being like, have you ever heard of Topsy Turvy Cake? Yes. And this isn't one of them. All right. How about this one? Well, we got some floating flowers on the side. You could say like, oh no, it's just the background. It makes it look like they're floating. No, I don't think so. Because there's also way too much detail in this building. Um, 
if I were making a cake like this, I, I couldn't put that much detail in it. And it's also very hard edges. Fondant doesn't make hard edges. Um, no, like this is, this is not real AI. Okay. This one's a little harder. Those flowers might be real. What are those gold things though? What are those gold things? What are those? What are those supposed to be? Like that's a butterfly over here and there's one up here. Yeah. What are those like blobby things? Oh, and what are those? Oh, <laughs> I just saw this. So this, this side like has these sheets covering it. It's green. It looks sort of like moss. Yeah. Over here, it's bark. Was that a mistake? Yeah, this is AI. That one was a close one though. It, it wasn't clear to me. Yeah. It's when the design doesn't make sense. Now, obviously some people can make designs that don't make sense, but that's not, that's not it. Okay. Um, Ooh. Ooh, this is really pretty. Maybe this one might be real. Now the sides have a lot of detail. The cake board has some spots of, of texture. Now that those bushes could, I, I could see doing that with like a fondant rolled into a ball and then using like a piping tip to like give it some texture and then rolling it again to smooth out the edges. Oh, those flowers are tiny. Ooh, this one might be real. Cake Heaven by Marlene. I think this one's real. See, the, it, telling you, watermarks. People who are serious about their cakes and are really good at stuff like this put watermarks on their photos. That is lovely. Well done, Marlene. That is gorgeous. So, oh, this one I wasn't sure about. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I've looked at this one, and I've looked at this one, and I'm not sure. I mean, it looks simple enough. You'd be like, oh, yeah, you could make that. Well, you could. Yeah. Yeah. Although, what would you make the cake, the cat part out of? Because that's a lot of fondant if you're just, like, chewing into it. The piping on the side could be real. Maybe. The only thing that bothers me about it is that it's too perfect. In general, when you do piping, you have a beginning and end point. Now you could argue maybe it's under the cat's tail or something. Well, maybe, but I don't know. It looks almost too perfect. And those eyes with the shine on it. I don't know. Also the stripes, it would have to be airbrushed to not, to be that realistic. And also the ears, you can't see where they articulate. I think this is AI, which is a total waste of AI because it's way too simple to be like worthwhile. All right, this one figures lovely. Is it real though? Looks like it could be a Barbie doll, but look, oh my gosh, the arms are way off. They're really long. And also why is she not sitting on the edge of the cake? And the floating flowers, I feel like I could kind of like explain away by the black background, but Nope, I'm not buying it. That's, that's, plus where's her legs? They like go into the cake. If her arms are that long, then her legs would be long too. Now nah, this is AI. Ooh, this one. I'm a little perplexed by this like net on the bottom. Like what's the purpose of it? Whoa, that is some scary detail. I'm guessing it's AI. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> it's no sea creature I've ever seen. <laughs> also the texture on the side and what's the googly eyes on this one? I don't understand. And nothing else has it on it. It doesn't make any sense. No, this is AI. Ah, oh, it's such a waste of AI again. Also this texture would be really hard to get. Not the texture itself, but the coloring. If 
it, because let's see, how would you make this? You would um, airbrush the turtle the green color and then put the texture in showing the white underneath, I guess. Otherwise, if you did the airbrushing afterwards, then it would get in the cracks. In fact, the cracks would be darker. So I feel like that's that's just also what's up with the colors on the back. You would never do that multicolored. It like it wouldn't really work with fondant. So now this is AI. That's too bad. Okay, this is way too intricate to be real. I mean, I, I I'm just saying, it, is it possible to do that level of intricacy? Like theoretically possible maybe, but like not practical. It's so difficult that there's no way this is cake. Like, where's the cake itself? Yeah? Nah, this is AI. Okay. And the big butterfly and the small butterflies on the side and the berries. I'm going to say it's AI mostly because of the paneling. This, this panel comes up on, on each side. There's some shadows behind it. Why is it standing away from the cake? You wouldn't do that if you were making a cake with panels on it. You would just put the panels on the side of the cake. Like, why would you have them stand apart? That's way too much work. Um, oh, also, what's up with the legs? It's like doing some sort of dance or something. Yeah, that's way too intricate. There's no way that's real. It's too bad because I mean some of these could be really beautiful and they're just not. Okay, the first impression, it does have a watermark. Um, and it looks Madman Cakes Boutique. Um, yeah, that's what that says. So could this be real? And the name is in some sort of Cyrillic alphabet, so I'm guessing it's Russian or Bulgarian or something like that. Yeah, I think this is real. Now, what makes me think so? Well, everything makes sense on the design. I think that somebody was took a very fine paintbrush with black food coloring and put all of the details on the fence, the colored in the one, then cut it out. Um, also, they added some on the texture of the tree that flows down. That would totally be possible, putting in the texture with the Dresden tool and then carefully painting over it in black. Um, putting on the door. Like, Tigger doesn't look exactly like in the character, but, I mean, that happens. Neither does Piglet, for that matter. Whereas Pooh looks very, very similar, and so does Eeyore. I would say that's someone who is good at certain characters and other ones they need more practice on to make them look more like the actual characters. This is an amazing level of detail. It's gorgeous. So my hat's off to you, Madman Cakes. I salute you. This one's real. The Swans. My first impression is this can't possibly be real because of these like swirly things. But another thing is why is one swan on top of the other? You doing like humping swans or something? Cause this is just weird. Or is it like a two necked swan? You know, like, yeah, this is AI. Oh, happy birthday. Um, I think this is like a picture that they use Oh, I can't zoom in. No, I can't zoom in. Okay, I can't zoom in. Apparently, that's weird. That's never happened before. <laughs> uh, the birds? Oh, I don't know. Because the two birds, on the, the one on the top and one on the side are clearly modeled, but the one at the bottom is painted. Would you do that? I guess you could. Maybe. Mm, I'm not sure. But then the leaves on the roses look real. But then again, you can make them look very realistic with the paintings on the side. Maybe. I'm going to say that this one's real. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I just feel like this is achievable as far as like results go. So I'm going to say this one's real. Oh, the puppies. That is a lot of dogs on a side of a cake. I do appreciate that this like 
garland here is not quite straight. I do kind of like that, um, which makes me think it might be real. I don't know. Well, those ones on the side look like stuffed animals. I don't know. What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. If they are able to do this adorable little puppy, like perfect, then they wouldn't mess this one up that much. And, they, and if they did, they wouldn't end up on the cake. Nah, that's, this is fake. Look at that. What looks like more like a cow. No, nah, this is fake. All right. This one. I mean, this could be real if the branch is real is like an actual like tree branch just put in front of the cake idea it's the same one as the other one that i wasn't sure about in that case i'm gonna go with real but it might not be a real cake behind it it might be a cake dummy look at that like why, why did they paint that on the side hmm I don't know. It doesn't quite make sense, does it? And what is this floating thing here? It doesn't seem to be attached to anything. And is that on top of the ribbon or underneath it? Oh, I think this might be artwork. It does say artwork idea. Hmm. But it wouldn't be AI in that case. And also, oh, oh, oh. What is this? First of all, that, that rose does not look real. And if it, if everything else was, then this wouldn't be. And how is it connected to the branch? It's not. Now I'm going to go with fake. I'm going to go with fake. And I don't know if this is AI generated, but I'm going to go with fake anyway. Okay, this is clearly not real. Um, number one is I am musical. And I you happen to know that in a music staff, there are five strings, like lines going across. What the heck is this? What is that, like 12? I'm not even going to count them. Also, the piano around the bottom. That is not a piano. Those are black and white stripes. Yeah. Piano has groups of three and then groups of two, as everybody knows who's ever played a piano. And like the notes and the, no, no, no. This is a. Yeah. Okay. This has a dreamy quality to it that makes me think it's AI. And I can already see that there's no way this is standing on the bottom on the top of the cake. Like it's floating, but somehow not at the same time. This is AI. Plus, why does it have a, a leaf on its back? Like, what's up with the leaf? I don't know. Oh, I wanted to include this one because I am about 99% sure this is real. And as impressive as it looks, this is an airbrushed cake. The cake itself was very simple. Uh, it has a two layers, um, two tiers. And then there's the characters at the bottom. I don't know what who that's supposed to be because there wasn't another little person. Also, the leaves might be real plants. The But this this house is amazing. Uh, amazing. Look at that level of detail. But also what makes me think it's real is partly this chimney because that doesn't look real because it's not real, you know? I mean, it's not a real chimney. It had to be done by hand and then painted, but they didn't want to put tons of effort into it because there are so many other details that are more important. And that is how you can tell. If it had all of the details on it, I would think it was fake. But yeah, then there's all these, like, um, sorry for the siren in the background. Um, all the balloons where, and then all of the like fishing line that could clearly that is clearly, I was going to say could be, but it is. It is clearly covering up a structure that's holding that up. There's like a pole behind it. And then you can see like the blue base of some sort of structure where all they had to do is put the balloons then on the outside of this probably styrofoam structure. Also, there's the stick standing out of it, which means it's probably keeping it protected so it doesn't hit the side of anything. Um, also, this background is a box of some sort that is clearly their normal size, but this one's so much bigger than it went above. And so they had to get a second one to like put above it. Yeah, this is, this is real. This is real. And that's amazing. That's probably one of the most impressive cakes I've ever seen. That's actually real. Oh, this one is so funny. <sighs> 
You got some floating butterflies. And what is that? It's like a furry butterfly because they have all these like furry woodland creatures down here. And so then they're like, okay, let's put one in the sky. And then at the same time, it turned into a butterfly. That looks terrifying. I never want to meet one of those. This is obvious AI. Um, this one. I, I feel like those birds are what's giving it away for me. I feel like it could be real, but honestly... Why would you put birds, like, flying on the surface? I guess you could do that. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't really look terribly realistic to me. Um, also, you have these, like, mountains in the background. And then you have these mountains in the background. Like, which background are we doing? Are we doing this background or that background? Like, doesn't even make sense. I'm going to go with AI. The gold... See, this is clearly AI because there's always this question of on the side, are those painted on or are they figures? And if you can't tell, it's probably neither one. It's probably not real. Also, it looks almost like the cake is transparent. Like what would you make a cake out of that would be transparent? That doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, I think my tablet is kind of striking, so I think that'll be enough for today. Um, I really enjoyed going through those, and I, I I don't know what my final count is, but I can definitely tell you there was more AI than real. Um, I, but I hope you enjoyed watching those today, and we will definitely do this again sometime. But yeah, leave a comment down below what you thought and if I should do this again. So I'll see you in the next video.